Welcome to another PlayZone HD demo. Today we're going to have a look at our HDSDI and our HDMI capture modules and how we can use them with the Raspberry Pi to take live video inputs into the Pi. Okay, so here first we're going to have a look at our uh, SDI module. As you can see, this is the uh, small compact unit. And what we're first going to do is, is that we're going to attach the small short USB cable that comes with the module. Let's connect that to the uh, module itself onto the USB port. And then we're going to plug that into our Raspberry Pi. So on our Raspberry Pi module, what we have connected is just the network and the uh, USB uh, capture device that we've got. Okay, so now that we've done that, well, let me just show you what we're going to do on the monitors so that uh, you get an idea. Uh, on the left hand side monitor, which is currently just showing the blue screen, this is where I've connected the HDMI output from the Raspberry Pi so we can have a look at the video that is being captured by the uh, PlayZone module. And on the right hand side, I've got uh, another computer that's on the network and I'm going to be using PuTTY to remote into the Pi and set up the video capture and the stream. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is, is that on the Raspberry Pi, um, now that we have our SDI module connected, uh, at this stage there's no need to plug in the, the video. What we are going to do is we're just going to plug our power into the Raspberry Pi and let that boot up. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just connect our uh, power module into the Pi. Okay. And as soon as we do that, we'll have a look at the screen. We can see our Raspberry Pi starting to boot up. And very shortly, we should have our prompt ready, telling us we're uh, ready to go. Okay, as you can see, here you've also got the IP address that we'll be needing to use. So now that we're at the Raspberry Pi login screen, all that we're going to do next is we're going to connect our uh, SDI video uh, into, the Ras uh, into our PlayZone Capture module. So we're going to take our uh, SDI video feed and we're going to plug it into our PlayZone Capture module. Okay, and if you have a look on the Capture module itself, uh, you'll see that there are two lights. Um, we have two LEDs. When there's no signal, uh, these LEDs will flash, but when there is a stable signal, you should see it uh, being locked up. So I've got my HDSDI video signal coming in uh, from a satellite receiver um, that's looking at a live TV broadcast. Okay, so what we're going to do next is, is that we're going to move across onto our um, computer over here and I'm going to launch uh, PuTTY and then start our session. So okay, so we're going to have a look at our uh, putty. So okay, if you're familiar with putty, I'm sorry, but uh, for those of you who aren't, uh, you double click on the putty screen and you need the IP address. So in our case, it's 192.168.0.20. And we then uh, click on the connect. Okay, and we should see in the opening box our login. So we're going to log in as Pi, and the default password is Raspberry, 
which is all standard for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we're actually logged in at this point in the command prompt, what we're going to do is, is I'll give you a link to download the stream.sh file. Um, but you can open this up in the notepad and uh, if you want uh, you can simply just select all of the, uh, the, the lines. Okay. Now that we've selected that, we're just going to go over to our window and we're going to put it there. And then the next minute, as you can see, the stream has started in our Pi. Okay, we're using the RMX player to display the stream and you'll see on our output monitor, this is the HDSDI video coming through that's going out. So if I now change channels, then we can have a look at and see what else is uh, coming through. So okay, so we can see we have some Sky News going on and that's our video stream coming through. So working with the Pi is relatively simple and easy using the PlayZone HDSDI module. So next we'll take a look at our um, HDMI. Uh, this works exactly the same, it's just connecting a different signal type. So we're going to be using HDMI instead. So okay, we'll pause the video there whilst we just change a few sources and then we'll come right back. Okay, so what I've done now is, is that I have connected our HDMI module to the Raspberry Pi and as you can see the uh, LED is flashing telling me that I haven't got a signal. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to take my HDMI feed and connect that into the Pi. Uh, sorry, into our capture module. So I'll we'll take that along and if we just connect that in okay and let's see if the, uh, the LED is stabilized which it has and then if we look at our screen up there so we know our Pi is ready so again in our party console we're going to type in the same command or copy and paste it and there we go and now we have uh, HDMI video coming through the capture unit straight onto the monitor. So this is the Raspberry Pi displaying live capture video from the HDMI input. Um, and that's it. Thank you.